What's up guys, it's Roger from One Bro Gaming with a new video uh, talking about the new Andre Godala packs and cards and a way for you to go ahead and make some MT off of these cards which is something I do whenever a new spotlight challenge uh, packs come out. That's how I have so much MT. I should have some more MT on me right now but I do have that Dwight Howard collection finished so I need to sell those cards once I finish those um, challenges but yeah let's go ahead and get this video started Ho got a hell of a grip it's never a problem so niggas is piling and bitches they all want to stick I lick it split in the whip with my niggas my family my click all right guys to go ahead and start off let's go ahead and look at this collection like I said I do have that Dwight Howard collection for the challenges complete you do not need Richard Lewis, but I have all of these other cards once I finish this uh, these challenges for that Blake Griffin. Of course, I'm going to be selling uh, James Harden, Chris Paul, Vince Carter, all of these cards that uh, have any worth. Anything that sells for uh, less than like 2000 I normally keep to keep in my collection. Uh, next reward that I get is that Eddie Jones at a thousand cards. But let's go to this Igadala series. And of course, you can see I already, I'm already halfway there. I've got half of these cards working on trying to snipe this Drew Holiday. I'm not trying to pay 7k for the card. So I've been I'm seeing a couple of them for 1500, 2000. I just haven't been fast enough. Just woke up. I got to be quicker and hopefully get those cards. I have not looked at the prices for these Amethyst, uh, Brandon Bogut, and then of course this Iverson, Draymond, and Curry are all going to cost quite a bit right now. Won't get these cards till a little bit later when their price drops. Hopefully I can get all of them with the MT that I have currently. Uh, I guess I'll just have to wait and see or at least finish that Dwight Howard collection to get more MT to purchase the rest of these cards to finish these challenges. But let's go ahead and go to the auction house real quick. Normally what I do when new uh, Spotlight Series packs drop, I look for the cards that people wouldn't mind selling for a cheap price here and there, but they still have a little bit of value. So like, like for example, back with these other packs, with when the Dwayne Wade packs came out, the card that I did a lot was Udanis Haslam. People were selling this ruby for a couple thousand, and then I was going and flipping them on the auction block for 14,000, uh, 14, 15,000, whatever the price was at the time. And um, that's how I started off making so much MT off of this Udanis, Udanis Haslam card. When the, and then when these came out, I believe I made some money off of the Irving Johnson. For some reason, it used to cost a lot back then, and the Terry Porters. This one wasn't as good. Clyde Drexler, what card did I do? Um, Michael Thompson was going for about 6K, so I was sniping those and reselling that one. When Dirk dropped, Steve Nash and uh, Michael Finley were the cards that I was sniping for. Buying, I bought, uh, I don't even know how many Nash cards I bought for about 3,000. I want to say like at least 10 of them and then resold them for a quick like 14,000. And then with Michael Finley, I was selling him for about 10,000 at the time. I think that's what his price is right now as well. Uh, with the Isaiah packs, I actually didn't have any luck with these cards. I wasn't able to do it. I also do it with Moment, Moments of the Week's cards. Uh, but let's go ahead and go to the auction block. I'm trying to get this Drew Holiday. And in order to make him pop up, he is a ruby. He's a shooting guard. Of course, Igadala spotlight theme. And then I go ahead. His price is currently at about 7,000. And then maximum bid, I picked that up in just in order to, re in order to uh, refresh the auction block. So yeah, about 7,000. Like I said, I have seen him go for about 50. I saw a couple for 15 and a lot for 2,000. Just haven't been quick enough to get them. That's basically what I'm going to try to do here. Oop, 5,500 uh, is not that bad of a price. Honestly, I wouldn't mind copying them for that, but I'm really trying to snipe one for at least 3K or less. So that one's probably gone now. There it is. Let's go ahead and keep doing this. 6,000. You see, like, you can see a lot of cards for a lot cheaper prices. So once you guys get your actual Drew Holiday to keep, keep doing this method 
you will eventually see some for a low price and be able to sell it uh, 6,000 still too high uh, for a profit so let's just say I was able to snipe one of those 2,000 ones or a couple of those 2,000 ones go ahead and resell them for about 6,500 and there you make about a 3.5 k profit which is really good if you ask me for some reason no one's buying the 6k one yet oh just there we go come on ah someone beat me see another one for 1500 really mad i couldn't get that one 6k no one's really buying that one come on but yeah that's basically all you guys have to go ahead and do ah that was a good price i didn't get him is he still there of course not but yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and keep trying to do this off the, off the recording, of course, because this might take a little bit of a while. I'm not trying to waste you guys' time. But that's basically the method that I've been doing to go ahead and get these cards for a low price. Uh, hopefully this works out for you as well. And hopefully you guys start making some MT like I do. Sorry if I'm talking a little bit funny. I'm really trying to focus on this auction block. Uh, auction search to try to snipe this Drew Holiday, but I might not get lucky right now. I'm really mad that I missed that uh, um, opportunity at that 1500 one because I'm trying to snipe one first before uh, for myself before I go ahead and start making some profit off of this card. Um, but yeah, I will go ahead and start dropping some videos on how I'm making MT. Um, in the future start making more videos now that the semester's over i've been struggling a little bit um, this semester with my classes but got finals next week an essay due sunday someone tweet me to remind me to work on my essay i get distracted a lot and yeah that's gonna be it for today thank you guys so much for watching like subscribe wish me luck on these snipes and y'all have a great day